Today we're building a monday.com board in real life, turning this virtual tool into a real thing, made of wood, lights and electronics. We're doing it because the monday.com video team and HR are shooting a video that explains our recruitment process. Uh, offer, you're hired. We wanted to show how we recruit new employees and what are the things we're looking for in a job interview. Here's how we did it. So I've made the design on uh, Fusion Illustrator and then I've made the templates for uh, cutting the slots for the items. Looks something like that. Then I use the special bit that uses a bearing and cuts a step. And you can change the size of the bearing so you adjust uh, the depth of the step. So you can see we got the steps here. I've made the hole a bit smaller than it should be. So after I put the PVC box inside, I can route plywood uh, flush with the PVC box. A cuckoo! <laughs> Now we need to cut the acrylic that is used as a diffuser. We need to sand it so it won't be shiny, so we won't have uh, reflections. This is before sanding, and this is after sanding. Shiny, dull. <laughs> First try, didn't work. Bye! Voila! Now check. It's okay. It's good. If you look closely, you can see there's a step here. So that's what I said about uh, routing the step and then it will be flush. So uh, in order for us uh, to have an item, once you put it in, it lights up. We need a switch. We can use a, like a mechanical switch or we can use a red switch, a magnetic switch. You can see we have three legs. One is always connected and you can choose whether to connect either a normally closed or normally opened. A normally closed is a... Normally closed... Normally closed means that once you put a magnet next to the switch, it will open the circuit and electricity won't flow. Normally open, there is no electricity, but when you put the magnet next to the switch, it will close the circuit and uh, electricity will flow. I'm not gonna use the normally closed leg, so I can just cut it. Two-part epoxy. You put equal parts and then you just mix them together. Make sure that you're mixing it really well, otherwise it won't harden. This is the middle, the epoxy. I'm gonna cut the normally closed. I wanna isolate it. So I'm gonna use a piece of isolating PVC electrical tape and put it between them. So now I'll just solder the wires to the read switch and then glue the read switch to the box. Just using the electric tape to hold it in place until it dries up. And uh, now we wait and we go and do other things. So now I'm gonna cut a wall that will go like this. I can uh, mount the LED strip onto this wall. Got these two here. I'm gonna measure this one. Smark it. Now we're going to mount the LED strip and then I can measure correct uh, space for the laser etched uh, acrylic. We're going to use uh, cool white. Let's hope they stay 
in. We'll check that it works. Hopefully, we do this. Fling. No, it doesn't work. Oh, hey. Fling. <laughs> and now we need to make the side uh, panels so we can have a board that contains all the electronics. And there's like a small detail uh, in the board that I need to route. I've made a jig for it. I'm going to put it on the board and uh, route it. Then we can route the 45 degrees on three of the sides of the board. So the sides of the board is, are gonna be like uh, 10 centimeters high and we need one, two. We need some of them to be in 45 degrees and some in a 90 degrees cut. I'm gonna use the track saw. At the camera show, 45 degrees. Now I'll start gluing the sides. But the beauty! Let's get dusty. Moving on to the stand that will hold the board. The status box is gonna be working on it and done. It's gonna be lit from the back and not from the side. So what I'm doing now is just taking back of the box and uh, putting LEDs and wiring it. Then we can move on. We need more wire. Let there be light. So uh, now I'm making the light boxes. They are made out of a white plexiglass that is half uh, transparent and PVC. Let's, uh, glue them together. I'm making a hole for the wires to come out and then I'm gluing the LED panel in its place. So each item has to have its own uh, LEDs so it can light up uh, individually. So what I'm doing right now is just putting LEDs in the boxes uh, for each item, wiring it. Afterwards, we'll do the laser etched uh, acrylic. So the wiring is done, took me some time, and the plexiglass uh, etching is uh, cooking. Now uh, we can see how it works. So this is our magnet. Each item will have a magnet inside of it. How it works is that the part, watt, and status supposed to light together 
when you put the part in, ting, the who, when you put the item in, it should light up, ting, 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 ting. So just an example for uh, side lit uh, panels uh, with etched uh, plexiglass and without etch. Magnet. So you can see clearly that uh, this is brighter, much more even. This has a tin foil tape on the plywood so that the light that goes towards the plywood will uh, bounce back into the plexiglass. I've asked the studio to help with some adjustments so we can cut the stickers in the right size. This is uh, the text that goes on the items and on the board. I need to peel it and then put the uh, applicator on it uh, so I can uh, transfer it to the board or to the items. Now I'm working on the status item. It uh, will have a swipe motion. I need to take this flexible uh, transparent something. <laughs> so I will take uh, this uh, transparent film and then I will apply a, a translucent uh, vinyl with the word done or working on it. This is uh, an applicator. You need to use it when you want to transfer a sticker onto some uh, kind of surface. Usually work with it when you need to like transfer the small uh, circle in the O or uh, something like that. <laughs> when applying a large uh, surface, it's a good uh, method to use like um, water and soap. That way, uh, if you don't get it right the first time, you can move it. Just push all the water outside. thing we need to do is take a small tab uh, so you can swipe it. Okay, so we got four statuses. Now I'm gonna install uh, one of them so you can see how it uh, looks. <laughs> this is Michael. He's making a mess and he won't clean after he says. gonna try and tighten it as much as I can like this and align it together we can check if it works now I'm making the insert for the boxes that are going to be the items it's just a acrylic it's a transparent because I want the light to go through it as much as it can I'm gonna Paint it white from the outside, so uh, it will look like a white item instead of uh, transparent. The glue I'm using is specially made for uh, plexiglass. It actually melts the two parts together and then it hardens pretty fast. 14 more to go. Mm -hmm. So it's time to make the... <laughs> now it's time to make the items. I've made these uh, inserts. Now I need to uh, glue them to the front. These are just spacer for uh, ensuring that the insert will be sticking out of the frame. So I want to uh, glue it to the board itself. You can see the magnet here. It actually triggers the read switch. This goes here. Now I need to align it. Some CA glue.
I've painted the left tab. Last thing with, before I close it, I need to uh, find the room for uh, the power cable. I'm just gonna take it out of here. Gonna help me, cameraman! <laughs> so I'm done, tomorrow shooting day. Right now it's like uh, 10 uh, p.m. and I'm tired. So we're here today at the Monday.com headquarters in Tel Aviv and we're shooting a video with a physical board that is basically chronicling the hiring flow that we have here in Monday. We've never really seen a physical board in any Monday ad or video. This was the first time that we did it. And basically he made it in a really great way that the only thing that triggers uh, the lights behind it is when you put in the what item in the what column like so it's really cool and i think it's going to really um do the job it was a fun build it was a little bit uh, tedious <laughs> it's a short uh, amount of time and um, i really like it this is yeah. amazing yeah. thank you drabkin yeah you're welcome so <laughs> That's it. If you want to see the full commercial and uh, learn how we recruit uh, new employees, we'll add a link in the description. Uh, so don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.